or I could uh, instead try to have uh, present my personal view. And that's what I, what I did here. And so, and then you can complement this with, with uh, other readings. Um, so the first question is, uh, what's the ultimate goal uh, when you write a paper? Um, you have to think about uh, uh, creating impact. And, uh, and uh, in the scientific community, uh, as I uh, already said, this means uh, others reading, others citing your work, others getting, get inspired by your work. And so, and when um, you get a paper accepted, then is that's not uh, the ultimate objective. Uh, okay, okay, I got the paper accepted, uh, so I will graduate. Um, you should not think that you should aim to be above the bar, but uh, um, the final objective is to really inspire others to do the research because you will stop a certain point, others will uh, take it from there. Um, based on uh, their, uh, their view, their uh, personal experience. Um, and linking to uh, the connection with uh, industry or uh, intellectual property, uh, uh, your paper is also the best way to show that uh, what you have, uh, your idea uh, works. And so if you want to submit, for instance, a patent, um, you want to protect the idea behind, the evaluation of your paper is the best way to show that your idea actually works. And so, both, if you, uh, the, both considering the objective of inspiring others and the objective and uh, of uh, creating a, um, intellectual property, if you work uh, in a company, in both cases the paper is uh, um, as a central role. Um, the, the question is when should I start to write the paper? This is very much related uh, to also when should I write the thesis uh, as presented by Borca. So the paper is not the last step. So it's not that uh, you do um, your uh, simulations and then you, um, you try to write a story around that. Um, ideal is from day one research. It will uh, greatly help to organize your ideas, understand uh, why your problem is important. And perhaps we'll, you will also think about uh, uh, how to uh, a more interesting problem than what you thought in the beginning, um, and, uh, and in this process uh, you understand how to pitch your ideas to different uh, um, uh, communities, uh, to the research community, to uh, um, to the society at large, um, to your uh, relatives even. So uh, you need to uh, always, and depending on the context, uh, uh, find a way to to show that uh, you, you master uh, the problem and then uh, you have a, you're trying to solve an important problem. And uh, so the, if you don't understand, uh, uh, so not, it's not, this is not only about delivering uh, to others, but it's also uh, for yourself, because uh, if you're not uh, able to understand the problem yourself, nobody else will understand it. And so this, the process of writing the paper uh, will be a great help. Um, well, doing that, you will able, also be able to communicate to others uh, uh, what you are doing. And they will get inspired by that. Um, so uh, when, you, when you try to write the paper, uh, so you, you can try to, uh, uh, you can say, oh, I use some simulation and I write a story around that. Um, but uh, honestly, at the end, what you are trying to do is to contribute to, some, to something bigger. Try to understand the, uh, what's the thing you're trying to solve that speaker even thought um, what your implementation you are doing uh, and uh, the solutions you uh, you have isn't perfect um, um, but uh, this is for me your, your uh, uh, you, you should start from there so, so uh, well, the bigger vision and from there uh, you go step by step with all the necessary reasoning including uh, the um, anything you need uh, to, uh, to show your ideas uh, works with your implementation and and uh, explaining uh, in your, with your results that uh, the idea you have been presenting uh, is uh, valuable and uh, you have uh, contributing uh, to, to solve this important problem. Um, so the, when you write a paper, most likely you're, you're not alone. Uh, and so the, there are researchers uh, like the students contributing uh, um, often uh, Mm, with a, a higher weight, but uh, there, there are others contributing as well. So authors are those researchers that uh, significantly, significantly contribute to the execution of the paper. And so, uh, and they've read and approved the final uh, version uh, for publication. 
Um, so and uh, but also authorship doesn't come only with benefit. It comes also with some responsibility. It's a responsibility for the content. Uh, so um, so you, you acknowledge uh, that what's uh, what's in the paper. You acknowledge uh, that uh, the the study has been performed in a um, with this uh, data set, and, the, and that you are willing to take responsibility uh, um, for uh, any anything that uh, uh, any, any any issues related to a, uh, a content that is being copied uh, from other sources and so on. This, uh, so uh, which goes in the direction of plagiarism and so on. Um, so um, in, if any author in a uh, uh, thesis, of course, as we already said, stressed that it's extremely bad. Uh, uh, um, practice, um, but any author that is uh, signing the paper uh, must also take uh, into consideration that uh, he must read the paper, uh, uh, taking this responsibility in, in mind. Um, a bad practice uh, that is um, uh, often uh, applied in academia is uh, to add uh, an author only after uh, there is a little uh, interaction and. Uh, that often happened because uh, of the typical problem of uh, publish and perish in uh, academia, where uh, you, you keep uh, publishing uh, or uh, you get out from uh, academia. Uh, and so you, you try to get into uh, paper uh, as an author uh, just after a little chat. And so this uh, um, uh, creates uh, very often uh, uh, frictions in, uh, in academia. Um, so. Um, uh, always try to avoid this and uh, fight for authorship. Um, and um, the authors, this is about the, the authors, but then it's also about the author order. And that's something that uh, I typically like to, to discuss uh, at the very end. Um, often is the PhD student uh, the first author, but this doesn't need to be always the case. So it did nothing must be given for granted. So if the student is the one, the PhD student is the one that contributed the most, um, then that's the case. And the last author is typically the most senior one. If you, if you try to look up uh, the author orders before, um, this can create frictions uh, among the authors. Uh, oh yeah, I was, uh, uh, and then or others that are, get, uh, oh, some author can get more relaxed. It's okay, I'm already uh, listed uh, and uh, second author and then, uh, okay, uh, now I think about something else. Uh, so it's uh, the very last thing that you decide about authorship and uh, author order. Um, and in some community, uh, it's also about alphabetic order. Um, I don't like that personally that much, but uh, it's, yeah, it depends on the, um, um, yeah, this uh, also community nation by nation can be, uh, can be applied. Sometimes also you have uh, two uh, authors which are listed as first author, so uh, it's difficult to identify which one contributed the most and so, you can list both of them, and so you had a footnote saying that both authors uh, they contributed equally to the to the paper. Um, and so, there, as I say, the so authors and order must be looked look at the uh, at the very end. The don't fix the order before. Um, and then uh, um, you have uh, if, if you have multiple authors, let's say that you don't have the a structure of a one out uh, one PhD student to one supervisor, but you have uh, five authors, uh, seven authors. Um, so try to identify, um, so for instance, uh, um, we come up uh, with uh, some joint work between uh, ESRs uh, and uh, we want to uh, understand how to divide the, the work. And so I like uh, a person to do divide and conquer. You, you take the, this is uh, the, uh, the outline of the paper and uh, I, I try to give this section, this uh, um, uh, author, this other section to this other author. And then from there, uh, you, if, you, if you give a, a clearly defined which sections you expect uh, from each uh, author, uh, you agree on a timeline, it would be much easier to then uh, uh, achieve the ultimate objective of writing this paper rather than uh, everybody contributing to the same section. Um, so without uh, some chaotic uh, um, structure. Uh, and then a uh, final note that authorship is different from uh, inventorship. So inventorship are those um, that are writing a, a data that are submitting a patent. Um, so the list may change, even the, um, the, the order may change. Uh, so if you um, if come up with uh, an idea, but then, uh, well, if you come up with some thought that may be uh, useful for the, uh, uh, for the paper, but you don't contribute to development, uh, 
or that thought of just an exchange of thoughts. Um, so perhaps it's not enough for, for authorship, but that may be enough for, uh, for inventorship. But uh, this is uh, yeah, something that must be discussed uh, on a case by case. Uh, so again, it's not the same thing. You, you, you know, or uh, other cases is when you have uh, um, uh, undergrad student that has performed uh, some simulation. And so that uh, with that uh, uh, is for sure an author, but uh, uh, the student uh, has done some execution uh, that uh, of um, um, some, uh, uh, um, uh, um, but he didn't contribute to the idea itself. So he's, uh, I do this simulation, but I didn't contribute to the idea. So he may not be listed uh, as an inventor. Um, you have the paper and so where should you submit the paper? Uh, something been said in the panel. So select the venue based on the quality of your work. Uh, try to aim high. Don't uh, um, always, uh, uh, don't try to submit to the first conference. Uh, uh, and, uh, but try to see which committee may, uh, may appreciate it, that can give you valuable feedback uh, on the one hand, and the other hand may cite it because uh, it's the right uh, community. So uh, it's a reputable uh, venue. Um, and so I agree with the authors on, on the strategy. Also, usually the, the seniors, um, senior authors are the ones that know better the communities uh, around and may tell you if the paper uh, um, has some chance uh, to get accepted to, to that venue um, because of uh, past, past experience. Um, so uh, at the Polyacian are to the strongest societies. Um, so um, I typically more into the secret processing, SEO into systems. I expect most of the papers uh, in the light and will be published into these two societies. Um, <clears throat> so the, in my personal view and the way I uh, studied my PhD, I uh, was uh, like it, the idea of writing workshop papers uh, for preliminary work. Um, this is especially important in the early stage of career for PhD students to learn how to write a paper. If you start your PhD and you try to write a Mobicom, a Mobicis paper, which are the conference I'm listing uh, later on, um, you may have a hard time to write uh, this paper because uh, um, the process of writing the paper itself is something that you learn over time. So, but uh, with a workshop paper, you can go to the same process in a some, yeah, compact way and you can, uh, you can learn uh, a lot of tips, uh, not all of them, but uh, and the structure and organization of the paper and, um, and delivering your message. And so, um, and sometimes uh, um, when you have strong ideas, uh, you come up with this problem of uh, um, submitting uh, now an uh, earlier paper or waiting to, until you have the, long, uh, yeah, the full paper. Um, so um, personally, um, I prefer to wait until I have the, the strongest paper uh, unless there is some uh, uh, constraint in terms of uh, graduation and so on. But uh, if you can get a strong paper and show that uh, you not only have the idea, but uh, you show that, that it works, uh, you're looking at it uh, from different angles uh, and uh, and um, this, uh, this give you a lot of value and this uh, can give you a um, uh, great and large impact. So um, often a journal is the last step, um, at least uh, the way um, this is uh, done in, uh, with system papers, which are the ones uh, that uh, we, we, uh, we target here at Indea. Um, so the, you do that to archive your idea. So if, for instance, you have a, you can have a preliminary work, workshop paper, uh, um, sometimes yes, other times not. You have then the full paper, which is um, showing your uh, idea, but then uh, the execution of this uh, full paper, uh, you show that, uh, you well, actually you have uh, valuable feedback and there is some additional uh, work to be done uh, to, um, to make, uh, um, um, yeah, to conclude, uh, to conclude this uh, line of research. And so you can do that writing uh, the journal. So the, I'm giving an example of um, paper uh, writing. So I like uh, to have a, a title that uh, can be on the one hand catchy and the other hand can uh, represent uh, well your work. Uh, this is an example uh, um, with, uh, we, we have two technologies that we are um, uh, married together and then so we, we come up with some uh, um, name that uh, may represent what actually is happening with these technologies uh, that uh, are jointly used. And uh, also may um, think big when you write this title, uh, because this was the case. Uh, uh, so um, I, I like to be uh, um, 
um, a bit, uh, um, I wouldn't say, uh, yeah, I was, yeah, well, I, I try to a bit, a bit pro provocative if uh, it's possible, but uh, to a certain extent, so that uh, I get attention. Of course, anything you promise, you need to always uh, uh, show with some claim in the paper that actually you, you can deliver it. So always need to be careful of what you say. Uh, so in the abstract, uh, you have, um, it's uh, probably the last thing you write. It's, uh, you need to, uh, there are different steps in this abstract and it's uh, just a few lines, but writing this abstract uh, is um, extremely important to deliver your message. So because it's one of the few things that uh, will be read uh, by, um, and if you, by, um, by interested readers, if you get attention of the reader in the abstract, then it will continue. And so you start the abstract of writing uh, uh, what's the problem in an easy, easy message that uh, for the general readership. Um, and so then of course you need to be more detailed so uh, as, as the time, as the, as the abstract uh, is written, but the first sentence must be really uh, very clear for the general uh, readership. Um, explain then what the community has done so far, the weakness uh, um, of this, uh, this approach and uh, um, so this, uh, this can be the next uh, um, paragraph or uh, next couple of paragraphs. And uh, perhaps uh, this is a point where uh, you show some new findings related to this uh, problem that uh, the community has studied. This is now the time to, to dedicate a, a sentence to this problem. So some additional insight into, into this problem. Why, thanks perhaps to these new insights, uh, uh, now you have a solution uh, that uh, is different from uh, uh, previous one. So um, in the ideal case, uh, this additional insight uh, may come from uh, some uh, measurements and then that's, uh, that's the ideal case. So you, you, you did some uh, experiments and then you've shown, uh, uh, hey, there's something new that I find here and because of this, this wasn't observed before and this inspired me to uh, approach this problem I was telling to you in the first couple of sentences in this, uh, in this way. Um, and then of course, yeah, thanks to this uh, uh, finding, uh, you explain uh, what's your solution and uh, um, how you motivate, uh, um, what, what's the motivation behind this solution. Um, and then you conclude with some uh, uh, proving your solution is correct. Uh, what are the main findings? Um, it has been not the case uh, in this paper, but often uh, it's good to show us uh, uh, one or two numbers uh, telling that I we could achieve uh, this. Uh, um, uh, Bit rate uh, with this energy um, consumption, uh, this, uh, we achieve this uh, communication range. And so it's something that uh, um, uh, can be um, uh, reminded. So in our case, and for this specific paper, we prefer to, to, to write this in the conclusion. Um, so once uh, uh, this is uh, uh, about the abstract. And so you will learn this uh, over time, and you will end up to write a good, uh, a good abstract. Um, the, some something which is important is also that uh, is about uh, using uh, the plural uh, instead of uh, we instead of uh, the third person. So we argue, we show, we design, we demonstrate. Uh, also, yeah, use our as well. Take ownership of what you did. Um, throw, don't don't be shy. Um, and uh, as you write the paper, uh, uh, so this is for system papers, paper, papers that. Uh, um, I have a component uh, um, of uh, a, a, where uh, so we, we will look at, a, at a, a specific problem and they have uh, an implementation and they, uh, they have single components uh, that uh, are innovative, but then uh, you uh, look at the, 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 full, uh, the full system, perhaps uh, the communication between two, two nodes. Um, so as you write this paper, uh, you have uh, different parts. Uh, you start with the introduction. Uh, the introduction uh, is, uh, the first paragraph is about the general background of the topic. Um, and in the second and third paragraph, you need to cite the main related work and its uh, weakness. Don't uh, move uh, the related work uh, here and there in the abstract, uh, can be very confusing. Try, try to show, after the general background, try to of, uh, organize all the related work uh, in a, in a um, few lines in the second third paragraph and then focus on, on your contribution. You list them in ballots, you may have two or three uh, strong contributions and don't uh, um, uh, oversell your work. Uh, try to, uh, every, anything you say, try to um, 
uh, get the reader impressed, but uh, with facts. Uh, so we did this uh, thanks to this uh, approach. So, and then it's uh, um, try to fast, uh, fast forward. So you, you do this and then you cite something that will be done later on in uh, section three, section five of the paper and so on. Um, so the details are there later in the paper, but uh, here uh, I need to um, be uh, concise in uh, delivering uh, your contribution. Um, second uh, section, uh, I like uh, to have uh, something on motivation or challenges that explain the main technical challenge you want to solve. Um, two or three most. Um, so for each of them, you can give an example. As, uh, so experiments that they show why this challenge is important uh, and what insight you got. Uh, and uh, what is uh, um, the high level idea of how you want to solve uh, this specific challenge. Uh, and so you have to uh, consider that the reader uh, won't uh, read your paper with the same attention as uh, the paper goes. The attention will uh, quickly fade out uh, is, uh, is, um, if uh, uh, you put annoying content. Uh, uh, so um, it's very important, this challenge section, to keep the attention very high. So it will keep uh, uh, his interest to read the rest of the story. Uh, and so with the design, uh, you, need to, you need to show um, uh, you, 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 the full um, um, design of, uh, the, of, your, of uh, your solution. Uh, and then uh, the, the implementation, uh, which uh, is the part that is more the most technical part. Uh, and so you should uh, never put this too early because it's the one that uh, will annoy the reader very, very, very easily. But it must be there and, and you need to show that uh, uh, what, uh, what you've been using for reproducibility. So it, uh, you, to, you need to make sure that uh, anybody reading this paper will be able uh, to, uh, to reproduce uh, the paper and so on. The implementation will be fundamental uh, in this case. Uh, you continue the paper with evaluation. Uh, if you have a system paper of 12 pages, uh, um, you need to start with a paragraph showing the, the main contribution. So it's, um, if you start the evaluation and you have a bunch of results, you know which are the, the most important one, uh, the least uh, important ones, it can be confusing. So start with this paragraph. With, um, we achieve this, we achieve this the other thing, this other thing. This of this of of course much more details with respect to what you had in the in the introduction, um, and for each result uh, provide a scientific uh, discussion. Not don't not describe what's in the plot uh, possibly. Um, anybody can do that. But uh, your point is okay. I got this. Why I got this? What's different from what I was expecting? This is the most interesting part. If you find some unexpected, find it. Related work. Uh, um, this goes uh, very often after uh, in uh, long papers. Um, and certain committee goes after introduction, uh, but personally, I don't advise this for 10, 12 pages uh, for the reason uh, that uh, you need to keep the attention high. Um, you know, if you start presenting our related work, uh, um, it's um, in, the, in the beginning, uh, you're uh, delaying the moment of introducing uh, the key component, uh, the key research component of uh, the problem you're trying to understand. Uh, so um, it's very advisable to this uh, at the very end, unless this is a, a workshop paper. So we are talking about five, six pages. So there it perhaps is just better to do it at the second page. So for the same reason, not to keep the attention high. Um, so this is okay. Um, conclusion, don't ever rewrite what's in the abstract. To try to understand what's, what are the major findings. Now the reader knows the, the, the details uh, and so you can present these details, uh, and, uh, and so and you can uh, this you can say this uh, um, in a, as a takeover message. So there must be one or two takeover messages, and this is the place where to write them. Um, non, you don't need necessarily to include the future work, um, although you have always a different opinion on this with respect to others. So, so that the thing is that are you really going to do what you promise in the future work? Um, that's not probably the case. Uh, perhaps it can be more interesting for others if they want to do some, some work. Um, but uh, in this, I would consider this more as a, uh, if you want to do that, uh, present that to the space as a, um, uh, in, include a, after the evaluation as a, a discussion and weakness of the approach that can be inter very interesting for others um, to read. Um, reference side, the main related, related work to your research. If you read the work uh, section is 10 years old, uh, um, people will understand that uh, 
you're targeting an old problem. Um, as I was telling before, don't cite much surveys, but the actual work uh, that inspired uh, um, your research. Um, so what a, when a reader, what a reader is going to read first, um, it's abstract, the captions of figures and conclusion. So um, you're attracted, attracted by figures, uh, you read the abstract and you read the conclusion. Uh, so if they look interesting, they may read the rest of the paper. Otherwise, perhaps, yes, I don't have enough time. It's not enough, enough interesting for me. Uh, so it's very important that these three components are, are well structured. Um, so the, um, the, we, we talked about abstract and the conclusion about figures. They must be um, performed and executed in a professional manner. Use PDF, vectorial rather than PNG. Um, a graph is often in the only place where data is get published. Uh, so it's the only place where if you try to reproduce a work and you don't have access to the data, uh, where is the place where you compare your results against two. Uh, so they must be easy to read. Uh, even if the paper is uh, printed in black and white, this is a, uh, um, yeah, consider this always. So the, the, the reader is printing the paper in black and white. Don't try to always have a, uh, um, straight line, uh, different colors, it will be impossible to distinguish them in black and white. Um, use as much as possible the, the same font type. Uh, so yeah, in Linux uh, you can check this with PDF fonts. Don't uh, start using different, for each figure, a different font type, uh, which is different from uh, the main paper and this looks very ugly. Um, so, and uh, always the thumb rule, uh, I say to, to my group, the legend, uh, the size of the figures must be a similar one as the one of the caption. So, uh, very tiny out the font size in the figures make it's impossible uh, to read. Uh, so, consider uh, if uh, if you're making a, the, the um, they always consider this rule uh, should be the same one as the caption. So, it must be easy to read uh, for any age. Um, potentially, uh, confidence intervals in the plot so that you show not only the average value but also the confidence intervals, um, the caption is very important. So related to the question of uh, uh, what a reader will read first, uh, um, we see the figures and uh, you may read some of the captions. The captions are a sort, a sort of uh, self-contained, so you don't, shouldn't think that uh, the, the reader is... Uh, so in order to understand what the, what's in the, in the figure, the, the, the reader doesn't necessarily need to read uh, what's in the main text. Uh, must understand, have a basic understanding of the figure uh, just through uh, reading the caption. Um, and uh, don't forget to put the figures in the same page as they the cited. Uh, so I'm really annoyed every time I read a paper and I see a figure in one page, but then it's, uh, it's okay. And then citing another uh, in a paragraph, which is two pages later on. And so it's, uh, it gives a very bad uh, impression. And then always you get, uh, you lose attention. Uh, so, okay, what is the figure? And you go back and forth. Um, and then uh, you generate data. So, and uh, don't uh, be cryptic uh, in the way you generate this data because our uh, reproducibility uh, is very important in our community nowadays, more and more. Um, make sure that the information you provide uh, will have the reader to reduce what you did. So, and uh, if possible, make this data available to the community. So, um, you may want also to consider open source your code uh, and data traces if this doesn't bridge IPR or your organization. But data management is now something very, very important uh, in, with the European project and this especially and, uh, like Enlightened. So we have a strong uh, commitment uh, to uh, uh, release our data. And if we don't do that, uh, we need to provide uh, strong reasons why this is not the case. Uh, and um, we, we stress it um, in the project uh, um, as, the, as it goes. Um, use LaTeX, LaTeX, uh, often nowadays with Overleaf. Um, and uh, when you write the paper, uh, uh, use abbreviations the first time you talk about them. Uh, and uh, if there is an abbreviation, in, yeah, uh, explain what's uh, uh, this abbreviation about. Uh, often read papers so that uh, with abbreviations, and you always expect that the reader ex knows what's that, what's that. But even the, if uh, the reader knows about that, you have to explain what's. Uh, don't uh, don't uh, don't um, never. Uh, yeah, don't write a paper with a bunch of abbreviations. It's, uh, it's, it makes the process of reading harder. Um, and if a term is introduced, perhaps the only exception is when a term uh, terminology is introduced only once, um, in that case, you may not need to show what's the abbreviation. Um, for every other 
tips uh, with uh, try to find it. avoid to have very long sentences that are uh, 10 lines 12 lines so um, I use five lines as a rule never write sentences that are long, longer than five lines um, so and that makes it easier for a for reader to, to read it uh, um, if you're out of space don't start using uh, this space to say more space try to rephrase sentences when you do that you notice that uh, yeah, there is a lot of uh, verbose text uh, that you can start uh, rephrasing the same thing uh, in a much uh, uh, better way. Uh, and uh, when you do this job, uh, I like always to look uh, for uh, those uh, paragraphs uh, that uh, are adding one single line just for, just for a few words. And by doing that, you save uh, one line. And then, uh, yeah, doing this process, uh, you, um, uh, you, you, are back and you don't have uh, because it's very typical oh yeah we are running out of space don't worry we will take care of space space is never a problem it's a matter of how you phrase sentences um and uh check uh, carefully the template for submission submission single blind double blind um so single blind uh, you you can reveal the authors uh, double blind uh, authors must not be revealed uh, and so there are more uh, so check the rules a uh, paper rejected two days after submission because of these mistakes is something that uh, you must absolutely avoid after all the work you did. Um, so last two slides, uh, if a uh, paper is rejected, uh, don't get depressed, uh, uh, fight harder, always uh, um, um, get this as a challenge. Uh, don't angry, don't be angry with the reviewers. Ah, you didn't get my point, it's, it's your fault. I always think it's your fault. I never submit the same paper uh, to another conference. I, I've seen papers, uh, uh, the same con the same paper submitted to the same conference after one year. I said, really? I mean, I did an effort to review this paper and you didn't care at all after one year, you just uh, hope uh, that uh, it's just a lottery and that you have, uh, will have different reviewers and these re other reviewers will accept your paper. This is very bad. Uh, so I, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I get even more negative if I see this because <laughs> when I see this type of attitude. Um, so think that uh, if a paper is rejected, it's been your fault. You haven't been enough clear. Every feedback uh, is, uh, is a gem. Uh, try to understand uh, what's uh, motivation was enough clear. Okay, why to understand why this experimentation is, is weak. And so I can, you can make it uh, stronger. Um, um, so I can make, you can make this, sometimes uh, the experiment, there is some inconsistency between the experimentation and what you, uh, we're claiming in the intro. This happens um, often. If uh, if you try to write 12 pages paper at certain points, you get lost. But then, uh, yeah, so you lose some focus, and then you you, you demonstrate something. Okay, but uh, actually, in the introduction, you were saying that you were able to uh, to apply the system to solve this other problem. And uh, now I see that actually this is not the case. Um, so any single sentence you write also is uh, need to take responsibility and if you don't support this, I mean, it can be used against you. Uh, so the reviewers love to find those sentences. So any, anything you say uh, can be used against you. So be very careful with uh, what you write. If you celebrate, if your paper is accepted, celebrate it with your team, uh, especially if it's an important conference journal. Um, if the paper doesn't require revision, uh, um, that's the case for most of the workshop in conference when you uh, don't submit the same version or, uh, as Kame already, try always to acknowledge uh, the, the work of the reviewers. They spend time reading your paper. They could have, uh, they give you, they give you often valuable feedback. And, uh, and so you acknowledge that uh, by integrating this feedback uh, in, the, in the final version. You do, you do that because, as I said uh, in the second slide, your final objective uh, is not to get the paper accepted, but rather inspire the scientific community and to create an impact. Uh, and that's uh, one additional reference I'm um, give to you uh, with other tips about uh, writing a paper.